Praise God. Lord Jesus, bless the eyes and ears of the listeners, Lord. Please bless the eyes and ears of the listeners, Jesus. Please give these people wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, God, that can only come from you, God. You want to teach your children. Open their ears. Open their hearts, Lord. Open their eyes, their minds, God. Get the word into the people, God. They need you today. I plead the blood of Jesus all over this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Y'all, we're going to go into 2 Peter. Okay, we'll get back to Job eventually, but we're going to 2 Peter because this is unbelievable. There's there's people all over the internet, y'all. There's one particular I'm talking about that I loved to listen to. I loved it. Loved it. And everything was going flowing pretty good until I heard them say, you do not need to repent to be saved. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And their reason was, well, did Jesus do it? Now, this is a big channel, y'all. Huge. Got like 77,000 subscribers. Pretty big channel. Lots of followers. Lots of people on there going, oh, you are so blessed. You really know the word. You are this, you're that, you're this, you're that. And completely wrong. Okay? I want you to go to 2 Peter chapter 2. You got to be careful. This is why God wants you to know his word. Not through me, not through anybody on the internet, from him. I'm just pushing you, motivating you to pick it up and to learn from God. Okay, but I am to go over some of this with you. Absolutely, because God ain't playing games, y'all. The internet is full of, of, mis, of, of misguided um, deception. Full of it. Some of the biggest channels on here just leading you straight to hell. Okay? So you know the word. Get in the Bible. Dissect it every day. Every day. Like 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 today was your last day alive. Because it might be. Okay? So this, this makes me mad, right? So 2 Peter chapter 2. Destructive doctrines. Okay? But there were also false prophets among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies. This is true, okay? Even denying the Lord who brought them and bring on themselves swift destruction. And they're bringing it on you too if you believe and listen to that crap. Bunch of baloney. And many... Many people will follow their destructive ways, and many are, y'all. Many are. Many people are not listening where the truth is being told, taught, preached. Many people are in the destruction zones. That's the truth. uh, Many will follow their destructive ways because of whom the way of truth will be blasphemed. Now, this person I'm talking about, I love to hear him teach. They give a lot of prophetic words that sounded, yeah, it sounds right. sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, bam, you do not need to repent to be saved because Jesus didn't do it. Teaching, on their teaching, about 77,000 people. What does it say? And many will follow their destructive ways because of whom the way of truth will be blasphemed. By covetousness, they will exploit you with deceptive words. For a long time, their judgment has not been idle, and their destruction does not slumber. They don't stop, okay? Their subscribers are going up, building. I guess by now, with 77,000, YouTube's paying the money. God knows who else is doing whatever, and they're being lied to. You're being lied to. Taught a different doctrine, a destructive doctrine, And what my point here is, is you will not know. You will not know if what you're hearing is gospel or a, a, um, a destructive doctrine unless you know the word. That's what Jesus said. Jesus is adamant, very adamant about you getting in the word and studying and asking for his help. Nobody else has asked for his help. He will help you. We're in the last day. He's pouring out his spirit and he wants to teach you his word because he told me, he said, my people, my own people do not know my word because they're not going in and getting it. They're not going in 
to the word, to God, to find out the word. They're listening to people. And there's many destructive doctrines out there that you think is godly as can be. And then they'll pop up with something like that. Okay, so let's talk about the word heresies. Write it down, heresies. Second Peter um, chapter 2. Heresis is the word heresy or heretic. Comes from this word. The dominant use in the New Testament is to simply, I mean, to signify sex. People professing opinions that are not based on biblical truth. Today, there are people who teach false doctrines, okay, and introduce heresy into the church. It's big time, y'all, big time, big time. These people have denied scripture and are teaching things that are called new age, new age. It's rampant on the internet. That's why Jesus wants to teach you. Jesus wants to teach you. Um, a cult related and, and off base, okay? So there is also an increase in false accusations of heresy. Okay, that's the truth. That's why I'm not going to give you names of channels and stuff like that. But this is true. You will know if what you're hearing is false or not false when you know the word of God. He wants you to know it. Okay, or you won't, you won't make it if you don't know it. No. This channel seemed like they were glory to God all the way, all day long, until you don't need to repent because Jesus didn't do it. Are you serious? No, that's a lie from Satan. You're not God. You're not Jesus Christ. Jesus was the only one who never sinned, who never sinned. Me and you, we sin every day. You must repent every day. Yes. Um, so let's see where I'm at. Okay, where am I at? So, in which people are wrongly accused of teaching heresy just because someone else doesn't happen to agree with their particular way of doing something. It's important to have maturity, write this down, maturity and discernment in the issues of heresies. Because there is a lot of people calling people false prophets, false this, false that, you know, I've been called false, this, false, whatever. Not much, but it happens to anybody that teaches. But you won't know what false is and what false is not until you know the word of God. So Jesus said he wants you as an individual to get in his word like it's your last day on earth. Every day, every day, because Jesus Christ wants you to know the word. He's pouring out his spirit on all flesh right now. You got to do it. You got to do it. Me, I'm a motivator. I'm to push and shove you into that word as I've told you this. Okay. Sound doctrine is important, okay? And real heresy must be challenged on the base of the word of God. You got to know it, okay? But beware, false accusations of her heresies can damage the preaching of the gospel and cause um, legitimate ministries to be attacked. So you don't want to come against the channel and attack them. You don't want to just say, you're false, you're false, you're false. No, listen, listen. If what is if what they're saying is out you know purposely out of line from the gospel, oh yeah, then you rebuke them in the name of Jesus. But be careful, okay? Some people can give a prophecy and be a little confused. That doesn't mean they're a false prophet if they give if they're wrong on their prophecy. Sometimes no, some people hear wrong. Some people receive it. You know they don't understand it. A lot of people, especially they're not a lot of new people with Jesus Christ trying to give prophecies, okay? And they're not clear on it. But people that are teaching you and preaching to you, and they, they say, I'm a preacher of the word of God. I'm a holy person. I'm holy. I know my word, la, 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 la. And you don't need salvation. You don't need to repent. That's a lie. That's a lie from hell, okay? Let's talk about identifying the counterfeit. As we're going to read chapter 2, 1 through 3, which I just read to you. So although the majority of people in the ministry are there because they are called by God, like myself, I'm called by God. I was saved from going to hell to do this, to push you. And thank God he saved me because he knows I, 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 was, I would repent and I'm worth it and I live for him. But my purpose is to push you, motivate you. That's the reason, that reason I got breath in my body today. That's why, okay? 
Many are called to, and, and want to serve him. Many people do. There's also counterfeits in the ministry. And Jesus said in the last day, they're everywhere. And they are. Those false preachers and teachers who are there to obtain power and gain for themselves. Okay. Although their message may have started out as truth, the motivation was freshly, I mean, fleshly rather than spiritual. Okay. They're not there to serve the Lord. They're there for personal gain. You can tell the ones that's teaching you and preaching you it destructive doctrines, y'all. And got a million subscribers. You know what I'm saying? They're not there for the God glory or for your glory. They're not there for any of that. They're there for self gain and getting it, getting it. Um, they're seeking personal gain rather than for the kingdom of God. Okay. This fleshly message appeals to others on some soulish or carnal level. Okay. They say things you might want to hear all the time. Yep, yep, that's Bible, that's Bible. Yep, yep, yep. Amen, brother. Yes. Oh, you're so holy. You're so holy. And then they say, you don't need to repent to be saved. And then they're like, oh, really? Oh, I believe you, brother, because you know your word. Sorry, that's a lie from Satan. You need to know the word. You. So eventually false teachers introduce um, some doctrine into their message that's not true. Like that. Like that. By that time, their listeners have been programmed to believe whatever their leader teaches, and so they buy into that lie. It's people who are programmed and that's not doing this themselves. They're not doing this themselves and asking Jesus for his to teach them, okay? So to guard against buying into the counterfeit, always reject any teaching that denies the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Always. Listen to what the teacher says about other teachers or leaders. Okay? A false teacher will try to cause distrust um, of true ministers of God to avoid becoming judgmental or self-righteous. Judge only the teacher's words, leaving the judging um, of teachers to God. Now, that's what I'm telling you. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'm not going to badmouth this person. They know. They know. But I'm telling you to be aware what you're hearing. Be aware everywhere. Okay? Know the word. Know the word. Okay? So when you got people preaching to you that you don't need to repent and you don't need to repent to be saved, you will know off the bat that's not God's word. That's not God's word. No, it's called destructive doctrine. Be careful. Be very careful. Remember, teaching may sound good, but it still means it. But still, me, te, te, I'm sorry, I can't spit it out. Teaching you here may sound good and still mean nothing. Like that, that teaching I just heard, okay? That you don't need to repent because Jesus didn't have to do it. That's a lie. Be careful. So be firmly established in the word of God and you will not be lured back into sin by false doctrines. I seen people in the comments section, y'all, on that video. Really? You mean I don't have to repent? Are you serious? Oh, praise God. No, people, that's a lie. You better repent. Mm. So each of us must be responsible to use the word of God as a measuring line when judging the words of others. When those words don't line up with God's word, then they must be rejected as false teaching. Okay? So I'm telling you, get into God's word. I can't, I can't stress to you guys how much you need to pick this Bible up with your hands. Sit down. Pick it up with your hands. Open it up. Jesus, thank you, Lord, for my day. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me another chance to learn your word, God, and fill up with it, Jesus. Lord, teach me. Fill me with your wisdom, your knowledge, your guidance, your understanding of your word, God. I want your word, Jesus. You teach me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Guide me through your word and go study. Go study every day. Get it built up. You can see the water rising in your body. Bit fill up. Because today, you need it. 
You need it. I can't push it to you harder. I don't know how much harder to push it. But I wish I could push this to those people in that comment section, y'all. It's so sad to see people just believe what people on the YouTube says. Well, uh, Prophet so-and-so said, well, Preacher so-and-so said, no, no. You go find out what God says. Go find out what God says. Now, I guarantee you, you'll get some, I'll get some thumbs down on this video because I'm preaching, I'm teaching you the word. I'm teaching you from God. What God wants you to do is to do this yourself, yourself. But you know what? People don't want to do it. People don't want to do it. They're lazy or they feel like, oh, I don't understand. Jesus wants to teach you. Okay. I showed you what the Lord showed me. Read what you ask him. Pray first. Read through, go through each verse, write down words you don't understand, look them up, reread that verse with the meaning, okay, and you're going to understand better what he's telling you, and then I told you, write down, what, what, what's that mean to you, what's the Holy Spirit telling you this means to you, okay, and then write down, what kind of things do I need to do in my life to make my life more like what I just read, and do it, do it, start doing those things. Okay, but you need to do this. There's more. I, I would say there's more false prophets out there right now than there are prophets of God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't get in. I can't push it to y'all no harder than what I am. Please get into God's word. And please, just because of ministry on your YouTube, your favorite YouTube channel, you better keep your eyes open. I don't care how big they are. I don't care if they have a million dollar mansion. I don't care. Okay. What are they teaching you? What are they preaching to you? You need to know. Okay. You need to know and you go find out. That's why God, listen, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here today to push you, to push you because we're about to go over the cliff. Y'all push you into picking up God's word and learning it for yourself. I can't tell y'all, I can't stress it no more than what I am. Please, just because it's a big ministry, huge, by big time prophets, I just told you, listen. Listen carefully to what you hear. Does it all line up with scripture? You won't know unless you know the scripture. Go find the scripture. Go get to know Jesus Christ, y'all. If you don't know Jesus, ask him to be your savior and go get saved and, and then get in his word like you never have, like you never have. All right. I pray for each one of y'all in Jesus name. Many people being led astray today. Many, many, many people, many people not here, not here because Jesus is teaching you Jesus Christ. I'm showing you how to get to him. How to study it for people that just can't understand the Bible. That's how you do it. I showed you how Jesus showed me. Okay, I remember reading the Bible my whole life and it just it didn't click until Jesus showed me. And now, with Jesus' help and guidance, I understand every book I read. And that's what he wants you to do. He don't want you to walk around clueless and dumb. He wants you to mature in his word. He created you, so you go do it. Find yourself a study Bible, some kind of a study Bible you're comfortable with, a student study Bible, I don't know, whatever you're comfortable with, and you get in and you do it. Do it every day. I said, I can't push it no more than that, Lord. Help him. Help him, Jesus. In Jesus' name, God bless y'all.